It's been two years since I've seen her, and you can see here she has split ends everywhere. She's done things. Hello to all the head besties in the land. I'm here with my friend Karma Love. You've seen her before on my channel, but what are we doing today? We're doing berry. A berry color, almost like a violet berry. So we're gonna nipple trim her too, so take a look, take a look. She look at all her little split ends. If you look closely, it's been two years since I've seen her, and you can see here, she has split ends everywhere, she's done things. You've done a lot to it. But our goal is to make her hair color look like this plant, right here, see, th see this? See this color? I wanna look back and go like, I live my life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's do it. Let's Ready? Do it. Hand. Let's go. Come on. So we're in the salon right now, and you can see that even though it's been two years and her hair has grown out quite a bit, her natural hair is pretty dark. You can see she's a level two. And something that we've done over two years ago still looks so beautiful because it kind of ombre itself out. You can see the red that we did here at the, to lift her base color, and then the lightener that we used to lift her ends. So now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna give her superpowers, bonnet sorcery, that's my goal here. Uh, a couple color combinations. All right, Karma, spin around. We're gonna put the body condom on you. I'm so surprised how loyal you are because most people would just have a hair affair by now. You, yeah, you, nope. you know. Why is that? It's because that one time I did go somewhere. It, yeah, that was a long time ago. What happened? Did I scorn you? No, I did. I'm not that type of person. No. No, I don't care, you know. But then it's like, I got it done, and then the next week you're like, oh, you want to get your hair done? And I came back in. Oh, oh, oh I remember that. Oh, yeah, because yeah, your hair got messed up. I remember that. Yeah. You're like, can you fix my hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> How much can I cut off here? What do you think? Um, How about two inches? That's fine. No, no, you, you have engagement photo. I can't cut off two. You don't. Okay. One inch. So we just kind of cut off the dry ends and I think that she'll be fine. She's not going to get mad at me. She needs long hair for these photos, so I can't cut off too much. I just have to nipple trim off the little dry ends. See, that's not too bad. Sometimes less is more. Even if your clients say cut off three inches, I usually just cut off one. If they say three, I do one. If they say six, I do one. <laughs> because you can always cut off more. <laughs> I am gonna mix Magnum 8, which is our powder lightener. If you have not tried Magnum 8, it's gonna change your life because the consistency is so fluid and it gives you the perfect lift. But sometimes I wanna amp it up and add Big 9, which is our cream lightener that lifts up to nine levels. So I create a hybrid lift by mixing it together with our Dedicate developer, all right? This guy take my identity line. I love it, it has like a light, lavender tint to it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna mix it with big nine equal parts and so it's gonna make 80 grams of lighter. We got a new friend. This is the Guy Tang My Identity Collagen Powder Protective Booster X. For every 30 grams you're gonna add a scoop. We're gonna do three scoops of this and the cool thing is that you want to protect the hair Right, so it adds collagen into your hair. It creates protection, collagens in everything. I put collagen in my smoothies. I take collagen pills. You need collagen to stay young and youthful. It's age defying. You want elasticity to your skin, just like you want elasticity to your hair. All right, so now I'm gonna do one to two ratio with 30 volume. It smells so good too. What I love is when you use a dedicated developer, you get to experience how nice it smells. Okay, what's really important is that you make sure you always measure your color, your lightener, everything. I've known so many people that will tell me, oh, I just eyeball it, you know, with the developer, just pour it in and just go with how you feel. But the problem is that you're not gonna get consistent results. And had I start down here and then I have to remix more when I get to the top, if I just eyeball it, the lift won't be even. Because remember guys, developer is more acidic. So the more developer you add in, you're loosening up the consistency, but also the performance will be weakened, so you're gonna get an even lift. The worst thing to do is like, oh, you're super blonde down here, and then orangey up here, you're not lifted properly. And chemically, scientifically, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So, here we go. Um, Violet Sorcery is what I'm gonna use on her. So we're gonna have this nice berry-like tone, and it's very pigmented, it's very deep. 
so it has a lot of depth and it lasts forever. I may even mix it with a little bit of pink possession on the ends to create more of a brighter berry tone. By adding a little pink possession to it, we're gonna brighten it up so you get to see more of the berry reflection come to life. But by putting this one on her routage, it's gonna ensure that we get that depth so it could fade out into a beautiful ombre. Right? <clears throat> so that's the color we're gonna put on Carmel Love today, which I'm super excited about. If you guys haven't gotten the swatch book, make sure you order the swatch book online. This is the new hardcover one, and this is pretty amazing. Everything that you need to know about the color is in here. So I'm just gonna section off the top section of Carmel Love's hair. So I I'm using a nice little foil board. It's great for balayaging, it's great for foiling, and we're gonna have some fun today. I actually saw this on Facebook. I know Facebook, I, I don't know how they know everything I want because I buy all of my clothes on Facebook. Like they know what I want and then I just order it. I was like, how do they know these things? I swear the phone listens to you, it's so creepy. I'm just sectioning out her bridle, her top, and take a look here. Her hair is actually very, very um, fine through here. Look, as it goes down to the ends, it gets um, finer. So that tells me I can take a larger chunk, a larger block of hair, right? So maybe a little bit smaller so I'm able to get in between if I decide to do a base color. This is a good amount of hair, you can see on the ends here. So I'm just gonna clip that out the way and I'll show you how big of a section you need. So if you look down at her nape, look how big this is. This is a big section. But if you look down at her ends, look how much you know, finer it gets. Right, there's less hair here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pull her hair out, lift her hair up, remember to hold on to just her ends and not the base. This is gonna help push all the short hair back. So see, it's just one push. No damage here. It's pretty simple. Hold it flat. You wanna hold the hair on a flat panel and push it all the way back. And you can see here, you have a nice see-through section. I'm gonna... Hold the foil, okay, scoop up the hybrid lightener and paint on the foil. This ensures that you don't have to work so hard to penetrate through the hair, right? And you'll see here, as I lift the hair up and out, and I'm just gonna place it right on, right there. I, I'm just gonna paint down the center. So you can see here, I, could, I get a maximum pressure throughout. And I like to hold the ends of the hair and kind of spread it open. And just feather my way up. The key here is to feather. And what I like to do is I like to grab the foil and just pull, do a slight pull to stretch it because it ensures that it penetrates more evenly and it lines up more straight. I'm gonna flip the ends up and paint right away. So now I'm gonna overlay it with a beautiful foil that Framar custom made for me for my birthday one year. This is so pretty. This is the Guy Tank Super Power Foils. Look how pretty that is, right? I love this. This makes me super, super happy to see this custom foil they made for me. What I love about My Hero Collagen Powder is that it doesn't change the consistency of the product. You still get your creamy consistency. Um, you don't have to adjust the developer strength. You don't have to do anything. You just literally just add it in and nothing changes. Pack on that product. Don't be so conservative, okay? You'll see I pack on most of it through the mids and you take that product through the mids and then you paint your way up. And you can see here with me creating a W shape. You see one, two, three points it's gonna shatter and blend in. Cause I find that oftentimes just because we back home, we still go in with a straight horizontal line. Going in with a straight horizontal line is not a good thing. I'm having so much fun doing Carmen Love's hair. I just love everything that's happening back here. We were having a, an amazing conversation about like people that hate you for no reason. So um, when I first met Karma Love, there was a specific person that was always talking crap about me. And I know about it because I hear through people that this person is always bashing me. And I always go, I don't know why this person hates me. But then when I actually met this person in real life, they didn't talk to me, you know? So what I did was I looked for the best in her. I go, oh my God, you got amazing cheekbones or you got amazing, you know, eyebrows or whatever. And I find that sometimes when you love someone, even when they hate you, 
they have no choice but to love you back because it's like why do you need to hate someone that hates you because you have no reason to hate them back yeah. and you have to realize sometimes they hate you only because it's their own insecurities that they're projecting right karma that's very true how, do you ever have this issue this t situation with anyone that you've dealt with that like hate you for no reason i feel like they don't really hate me i feel like they're scared of me why? Why would they be scared of you? Because I have RBF, so everyone thinks I'm like mean. RBF, resting bitch face. I do. Well, so, okay, you know what's interesting? Because I've known you for a long time, and I know what you mean. Like, because you have no expression on your face, right? You're kind of just like, hmm, hmm. And it looks like, it looks like you have an attitude. Yeah. But because I know you, yeah. I, you, listen guys, I know her so well. She's like the sweetest person. She is the <laughs> nice, you're the nicest, literally. You're one of the nicest persons I know. You just don't talk much. So because you don't talk much, you come across as, you know, resting bitch yes. face for no reason. And how do you feel about that though? Like, does it piss you off? Or does... It doesn't make me mad. It makes me kind of sad. Oh, oh my God. So what are you going to do about it? I don't know. Smile more. <laughs> you're trying hard. You're smiling now. Yeah, but sometimes I'm just like, I just, when I don't smile, I look mean. Yeah, well, sometimes it's hard to smile, you know, but it doesn't mean you're... I can't smile all the time. No, it hurts your face. You're it trying does. To, you're trying to prevent wrinkles yeah. here, okay? You can't smile all day long. I like to take thick and thin sections, so I alternate. So let's say this section, I'm going to take a thinner section right here. So this one is thinner, and the reason why I'll do a thin section is because a thin section, I'm able to go higher to her retage, up close to her scalp. I want to show you guys, I hold the, the tension of the foil on the ends right here. This ensures that um, it has tension, so I get to place the lightener onto the foil and the hair and the foil doesn't wiggle around. Because the worst is like when, when it starts doing this and starts wiggling, you want to make sure you hold it flat so you get to paint with maximum tension, right? Just like so. So if you need to pull the hair, if you need to pull the hair here, you can, just like so. And that's the key here. Hold the foil like on the side with your fingers. I'm loving this just because I'm having so much fun while I'm doing this. Okay, so, and again, you guys, the reason why I don't mind overlapping the ends is because this is the cold shaft. Up here is where it's warm. Down here is the cold shaft. So even if I overlap, it's not gonna lift as light as the hair up here. That's why I'm not afraid to like flip the hair back up because it's getting closer to the scalp and it's not gonna overlift like it would up near the base. So you can see she's already lifted to a level eight gold, which is beautiful. I use 30 volume hybrid Magnum 8 with collagen. So let's just say had I have mixed it with 40 off scalp, or if I just use big nine, she would have been platinum right now. But creating that hybrid, she gets that balanced control lift that I want. You know, so this is perfect. I'm really happy with how her hair is lifting. And if I want to process her with um, heating lamps, I can. But I'm just gonna let her process just like this. Clip it all out the way. And we're gonna wait about 30 minutes and we're gonna check back. You guys, we are pulling out. Look how beautiful that lift is. Oh my God, this is like perfect. Wow. You guys see this? Look how even this lift is. Oh my God, like all over. It doesn't matter which side of the head I'm on. It just lifts all evenly. Oh my gosh. So she's like loving her hair right now. I kind of like the blonde. <laughs> I like it. You don't even want me to put color on it anymore. No, nope, no more. Okay, so you can see here when you lighten hair, look at that. <gasps> Perfect level eight. Do you see this? Level eight. Seriously. You guys see the highlights? is right at a level eight gold. And that's exactly the level I want her to be at to put Violet Sorcery on. So we are gonna use Violet Sorcery Super Power Dye Tang Shades, okay? And the last formula, I'm gonna inject a little bit of the pink possession into it. I know that when you look at the color coming out of the tube, you're like, oh, that just looks like, you know, whatever, right? No, don't be fooled. This guy is serious. I love it, pink possession. This isn't to give you pink hair, because I mix it with violet, it gives you more of a berry tone. So you can see, mm -hmm. isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. But don't worry, it's not what it's gonna look like, it's gonna be more of a berry color. But I am gonna squeeze the violet sorcer sorcery in. I'm gonna mix her in there. 
just so there's a little bit of dimension so that way we can see the ombre transition. So we're gonna whip it up. And you can see that the Vital Source 3 does take over, but that's the point. The point is just to have that pink possession in there just to kind of lighten it up some, right? Just give it a little bit more dimension. And if you want to put a little bit more, you can, but my purpose isn't to make it look pink. I just want a little more separation from this color, the first color, okay? So now we're gonna apply this to your head. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm just gonna put the My Hero Collagen Booster X into each of the formula because, well, you know why? Because we can. Okay, but you can see how beautiful this transition is. I mean, look at that lift. It's so perfect, right? So imagine how natural the direct dyes are gonna look. Uh, my situation is, I feel like a lot of times when people think of direct dyes or any of the superpower shades, people always think of them in a stereotypical way. You know, oh, they're punky colors or they're like, uh, gothic punk or you know I would never wear that and it comes with all of these stereotypes but what people don't realize is these colors can be done in a balayage or ombre a uh, baby lighted type of way not everyone has to like lighten their whole entire head and do rainbow colors it's all about how you place it in that can make them look natural and it's okay that I kind of cross contaminate because I'm only doing uh, the same shade within the same family so I don't care if my hands are touching other parts of her hair because I'm not um, doing like rainbow shades, right? But keeping it off the scalp like this, and because her, her, of her starting level being dark, it doesn't matter if I don't put it on her scalp, right? Just kind of feather on up and swipe it on down. And notice I'm leaving the ends out because the ends is gonna have the formula with a little bit of that pink possession in there, which is the one that gives it more of that brighter tone, which gives it an ombre type of feel. And so now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna tackle her ends with my second formula. And I'm just gonna apply it right on over. Now remember, this one has a little bit of the pink possession, so it's gonna appear a little bit more berry, a little bit more lighter. If you guys are new to trying Gaitang Mandani products, if you have not tried it yet, definitely try out the My Hero Collagen Repair Powder. Uh, because you get to add it to any of your color line and not worry about it changing the color, the consistency, anything. It's going to change your life. It's a great introduction for you guys to kind of get familiar with uh, the Guy Tang Madani line. So try that first, if anything, if you haven't, and then tiptoe and maybe dive in all the way and use the whole entire color line because I think you guys are going to love it. So just having a, a, a product line that I created uh, with a culture that's about building excitement and having fun doing what you do and owning your identity and who you are that's the main purpose of the brand is just to get creative and fall in love with doing hair again all right guys so i just rinsed out her superpower violet sorcery i want you to check out how much pigment how much depth is in this color Look at that, it's so beautiful, so rich. What I'm gonna do is use Olaplex number two first. I love using Olaplex number two because it has a pH of 3.5 and it's able to close the cuticle. So I'm just gonna massage it in. I'm gonna use my Hero X1. It brings clarity to the hair, so this is a very important step. So now that I'm done rinsing out the shampoo from X1, I'm gonna spray on X2. So now we're putting X3 on. So this is the internal collagen reconstructor. So this is repairing the hair from the inside. Um, and this is really cool. So I like that everything is broken in, up into steps. So you know what each steps are doing. And this is the fourth step. This is the Guy Tape My Hair external collagen reconstructor. So this is repairing the hair from the outside, closing the cuticle. It has the lowest pH out of all of these uh, steps. It has a pH of 3.5, so not only is it repairing the cuticle layers with collagen and improving the elasticity, but what's happening is you're also locking down the cuticle, sealing in all the color, knowing that it has a low pH. Literally, when you put it on the head, the hair has so much slip, it feels like glass. Hair always looks darker when wet, so just know that this color is gonna pack a punch when we blow dry. So I'm gonna go in with my quick blow, blow dry spray, and this is gonna be everything. This helps decrease blow dry time a lot, like in half the time.
You guys, I'm not letting her move from this pose because it looks so perfect, so pretty. But I just want to end the video with this. She's staying still like a mannequin. Click thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments below, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. All the links will be below. I'll provide a link for Karma Love too so you can stalk her on Instagram. And she's such a great team player. She's also on TikTok along with myself. So don't forget to follow me on TikTok. And download my new album, More To Me, and all that stuff. And try the new products. Um, you can order on mydandycolor.com, My Hero Collagen Repair, everything. Everything's on there. The powder, use it all, the superpowers, everything. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna leave you with my new music video. You, you don't look at me, don't talk to me, not touch me, you're giving me a silent treatment. The silent treatment. The silent treatment. Don't talk to me, you don't talk to me. Oh, well, I wish you just talk to me. The silent treatment.